Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Character Creator 4 from the folks at Revolution is now here. Now this is the most recent release from the folks at Revolution for their character creation and modification tool. With more functions and features, Character Creator furthermore simplifies the process of creating stylized and realistic characters. And for those who like to take a look at how this actually works, there's going to be a link in the description that can take you right there, where you can see some of the cool features that now ships with Character Creator 4. With that said, we're going to dive directly into it and take a look at some of the brand new features that now ships with Character Creator. One of the many features that ships with Character Creator 4 is the rapid means of breathing life into your model. Now, any rig can now be easily brought into Character Creator and these can be converted to the non-standard characters for further refinement in Character Creator. Users can import their rig models from anywhere and characterize them by simply mapping the bones to the human IK system which now exists in Character Creator, eliminating the need for 3D exchange. This would definitely save you time for multi-app switching and once these characters are properly characterized, they would be motion capture and animation ready. Another interesting way of bringing life into your characters is by defining your characters with spring dynamics. Now this would bring for a much more fluid looking animation especially for characters that have extended parts of the body, like the tails, the ears, and furthermore. The spring dynamics is very interesting for exaggerated animation, and this needs to be done after characterization is fully initialized and ready for spring dynamics. With this, character spring system can be manipulated through its parameters to create the spring effect that you want. With the spring animation, secondary motions can now be easily achieved with a few clicks, and the best part of all of this is at any point in time, you can choose to turn off and also turn on the spring animation. The brand new auto import feature for characters actually makes it easy for you to bring in rig characters and motion capture files from Daz, Mixamo, Maya's Human IK, Unreal Engine and Blender directly into Character Creator. And one cool thing is Character Creator will automatically identify the file and convert it to its non-standard characters with the joints and bones mapped appropriately and the Human IK automatically activated. And if you're trying to bring animations to retarget, this is quite easy. All you need to do is click, drag, drop and automatically Character Creator will identify the motion profile and you can apply this to the model of choice. So for those who are into motion retargeting or maybe you've been thinking about ways to bring your character to life, then Character Creator 4 has something for you. And if you've used previous versions of Character Creator, you've always wanted to test out motions when you are done making your characters. And that is something else that Character Creator 4 is bringing. Your motions can now be viewed and checked in terms of physics animation and also cloth simulation. So if you have animations on your models right now, you can now easily play back these motions in Character Creator, check out the physics system, check out the cloth, the hair, intensify wind if you have to, and eventually render out your animations directly in Character Creator. Now there's a couple of presets for motions that you can now easily feed onto your characters without the need of importing motions from external source. And there are some pretty built-in camera cinematic angles that can just help you observe and also view your characters from different points. iClone 8 alongside with Character Creator 4 now connects directly to Nvidia Omniverse for a commercially quality render for those who like to push the bounds of the quality that they want for their models. Now this is available for both iClone and Character Creator 8 and once you purchase any copy of these tools, the Omniverse connector comes with these pre-installed for that breathtaking visual renders that you've always wanted for your animations. The facial expression set now has a makeover with over 140 plus morphs for a unique personality to your characters. Characters can now be tweaked more to achieve a much more flexible facial performance. Compatible with major 3D software supporting the AR kit, the advanced facial performance delivers even more. The standard level of 60 plus morph set had 11 main facial features, but then the 140 plus morphs bumps things up with optimized base level controls for the face, nozzle, cheek movement, lip roll in and out, push and plucker, asymmetric quadrant control, advanced controls for the eyes, pupils and so many others. And with the highlight features, changes can be made instantaneously on the viewport to show changes made to the morph slider which is great for checking specific performances and expression. At the same time, for those who would like to tweak and also get some custom facial performance, it is worth knowing that built on the previous iterations of Character Creator, Character Creator 4 now efficiently allows you to transform meshes for sculpting and visual tweaking to ZBrush. Now this can include alterations of mesh or updates to facial expressions and the beautiful thing is once you're done, these changes can be stored back in the expression slider and you can choose to bake your work 
and component back into the expression profile. This is to say that individual facial morph sliders can be exported in sequential frames and also can be edited in familiar 3D apps and this is just super awesome. And with the newly introduced expression profile editor, you can now use the native modeling morph and bone tools to define and redefine expressions, taking full advantage of the FBX workflow that exists between Maya, Blender, and 3D Studio Max alongside with Character Creator. So this is just a huge, huge update for those who like to break, tweak, and also push the bounds of their character's facial animation. With Character Creator 4, Meshes can now be imported, displayed, and categorized into group of child nodes via the scene manager. In addition, users can also edit these meshes, optimize them for real-time use in Character Creator by using the brand new level of detail technology and furthermore organize these meshes however they want. Interestingly, users can import clothes and accessories from another character and transfer the skin weights of these props to a new character before simulating for collision to get a perfect fit. With a brand new actor build now available in Character Creator, it is now easier than ever for artists to generate crowds for simulation and also for populating their scenes. You can now convert your characters in Character Creator to actor builds. The beautiful thing about actor builds in Character Creator is you're in charge. You're in charge in the sense that you can control the percentage of how much polygons you want to get reduced and Character Creator, on the other hand, offers Delta Mosh to ease out and also smooth out messy parts. And at the end of the day, you have a low poly resolution of your model that retains the quality of animation alongside with the texturing. So if you're into creating crowds or maybe you would like to populate your scene and you probably want to get the best performance in terms of computing, Actor Build is right here to help you solve all of those problems. One other cool and impressive enhancement feature that is now available in Character Creator is the Smart Human Skin. So with the introduction of the Smart Human Skin, the skin color of characters can now be easily adjusted by changing the color of their blend maps. You can now simply pick a custom color from the color palette and assign this as the default base color of your character. Now with this, it is now easier than ever for you to change the color tones of your model depending on the kind of ethnicity or race that you're going for. Now this feature is also available in SkinGen, which is a tool for skin layering and editing, but this process can be a bit tedious and excessive, which makes the Smart Human Skin a more awesome tool to work with, as you can easily achieve ethnicity and change the base color of the model with just a couple of clicks. And that's about it. For those who would like to take a look at some of the amazing features that are now available in Character Creator, Links to this is going to be in the description, so do well to check it out. And of course, if you'd like to also see some awesome features that is now available in iClone 8, then you can also take a look at the link in the description and see that as well. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.